Got yeah, like makeup on and like a shirt. Is she nice? She's cool. I'm telling your girl. Hey, whoa, <laughs> not like that. You trying to go to the zoo? <laughs> I used to work at a zoo, okay? Really? I did, yeah. That's oh, pretty cool. I'm trying to go. Oh, where's your giraffe at? Is it here? No. no. Very but cool. K there's KK though. Your boy. Oh. Both of them some Asian neutral at the moment. It's okay, coming out. I mean, it's, it's nothing Ness is going to be really afraid of. I mean, Ness yeah. can go ahead and just absorb it with the side magnet at that. Nito plays super, super defensively. So we're going to see a lot of backdashing. We're going to see a lot of just standing still. Uh, As he should, honestly. Yeah. No, it's... I mean... You're playing that type of character. Yeah. I mean, the Shoto's really just thrive off of that. When you play patiently, you're able to go in and find the hits that you want. And when you do get those hits, it's going to be devastating. Yeah, and Ken can't, doesn't have like the best approach options either. Kind of just have to like run up to them and down tilt, hope they get hit by it. I mean, hoping you get a good jump in. Kind of, kind of really Street Fighter esque. Yeah. Forward tilt, really good move. Pretty, pretty disjointed uh, going away from Ken himself. Can lead into quite a number of options as well. Forward air, sending Gacked off stage. This is big for Nito to keep advantage. Whoa! What happened? Um, he held down, and he might be dead, and he is! Sure, you can online up tilt heavy jab. Why didn't he fly up? There's gonna be a back These are, these are questions I don't want to ask. Yeah, just I, like that, Gak, evening it up. Okay. Running all the way out, but he wasn't ready! Uh, yeah, I mean, the, <laughs> when you do the input with Ryu and Ken, or e even Terry, they do not have a lot of lag at the end of their right. special moves. So, unfortunately, that was the case for Gak right there. There's going to be some big damage off of that PK fire. And that all came from a spot dodge as well. Ooh. Dash attack after the I thought he was for a grab instead. Yeah. There's another one. He's just yeah, getting he, hit by these. He's getting caught. He's trying to shore you through it. He's trying to catch him, like, overcommitting into it. Yeah. Well, I mean, the... the that, that was a good option to match for, uh, just because you have that frame one invincibility. But right. here in Ultimate, I don't think you get invincibility until like frame four, and I think it's intangibility at that anyway now. Oh, called out that back air. He was too far. Yeah. He was too far to get that heavy jab. If yeah. he was a little bit closer, that was going to be a stock for Nito. That's just something that uh, Ken has to deal with a lot. People just kind of fall out of your moves. Yeah. Well, I mean, he had the hit. It was just he wasn't close enough to get the correct heavy jab. Right. Because the heavy jab that he did is the kick. When you're too far from your opponent. But, yeah, he's getting carried up to the skies right now off those up airs. Yeah, there's not a whole lot he can do about that. He's just got to drift and hope that he doesn't get hit. Yeah, Gak being a little tricky. He's trying to go in and connect the cave fire downwards off of the platform there. <gasps> that was a super scary situation. Could have gotten it down there there, but uh, Nito smartly just holding away. Yeah, he ends up getting that kick. Free, free recovery for him. Is this going to down tilt a pledge? No, he's backing off instead. I'm telling you, man. Nito is a back offer. He wants he wants the back dash. Gak not letting it happen. Ooh, calling out. Or I'm probably just reacting to that get up attack right there. Got the full hop and was just expecting maybe. That covers so many options, right? Like he does normal get up. He does jump get up or he does get up attack there. You can pretty much punish it. And if he rolls in, you have enough time to just land and grab him or something. Yeah. So great coverage from Gakt, taking that game one. That was very convincing from Gakt. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Nito, I mean, he, he he was able to get that first stock. He started to kind of get a little bit of momentum for him, but as soon as uh, he missed that heavy jab, it was just like, it was over. I mean, he was, he was able to get quite a bit when he's going to get that one hit. When, right. he, when he gets that up to, when he gets that heavy jab, it leads into a lot. I mean, we saw the crescent kick come out, led into a big combo. It's just in the neutral. That is where he's struggling so hard. More importantly, he may want to stop those backdashes, as you pointed out, Slub. I mean, every time he is backdash, you are stuck when you are dashing back. In this, in this game, you cannot put up a shield or anything until after six frames, if I'm not mistaken. Can, can, can the Shoto's dash walk? That I'm not sure. That I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. That's an interesting I'm, I'm assuming so. I mean, why not, right? I'd be very surprised if they couldn't, but uh, I don't know if it'll help him out. Wow. That was Going tricky. right underneath his little body. And Gax is just carrying off where he was in game one. Where are you going? And Tatsu Maki on back to the stage, and this is what he needs. He's finally getting that hit. Finally getting that percent that he needs. Oh! Reverse Shoryu, mixing up the DI. Not going to do too much right now. Able to get that as well. Yeah, he didn't. He did actually didn't get the right Shoryu in there, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. He was looking for the medium. He ended up getting the light. Oh, that up smash going to do it. Yo-Yo Charge, just so strong at catching those normal get-up timings. No, 
and the charge is actually so good because you can wait until you start hearing the first couple of hits and be like, oh cool, I got you. I'm gonna let it go. Yeah. Where are you going? Ooh. Nowhere. Dunk City, goodbye. And so far, Nito's been doing a great job of not getting hit by that in that situation. But Gax was just all over it. He committed to it that time, basically said, I'm getting this no matter what. That's gonna be big damage coming out. PK Fire looking for it yet again. Not gonna get it, but Nito able to roll on. And the, oh my goodness, Gag came with that PK Fire, almost catching the back dash, but oh, fortunately yeah. enough for Nito, who was able to get away from it this time. Nito needs a couple of combos. We haven't really seen him get anything huge. This game is probably the most damage that he's put on. Yeah. He got a quick 31 off of the down tilt, though. I mean, the only thing about it is, like, what it, what it, is it too late now, though? Right. Gacked up by a full stop. And he keeps committing on the down smash to try to two-frame, and every single time, Gax is able to just... Yeah, he got the light again. Ooh, down smash that time gonna work out, though. He's gonna have a jump, but he should be able to go ahead and make it, yeah. Whoa. All right. Okay. Yeah, he, he, he did the roundhouse. He's got the back hit of it. I didn't even realize I had a back hit. Yeah, either did I. Oh, no. That's please don't to die to that. <laughs> this back air could do it. If Gak decides to come in with a back air, that's going to be a forward air. Off stage. Gak looking for the edge guard. Down air possibly. You know, no, just waiting it out. Ooh. Safe on shield, but he gets kicked. All right, Nito. Rage can. You gotta watch some, out for that bear. Make some things happen. He just needs a couple of conversions. He's able to get some mix up off mix ups off of the crescent kick. And, you know, Nito definitely in a good spot. Ooh, the focus. Trying to call it a neutral air landing. This is super scary. Goodbye. That's gonna be a drag down. Is that gonna kill? Not just yet. Is he grabbing the ledge? Ooh. Gak called him out with the up air, but. Nito just fighting into him. Yeah, and this is just such a tense situation for Gak right now. Oh, you know, that one big combo can go. My, he's actually <gasps> on. Oh my goodness, if he can lead anything into Shore Yugen, that will be the stock. Ooh, Nito off stage. Oh, How's get he gonna up get attack. Up? Back air. Nito so close to taking this game. He's at 182, though. Yeah, looking for the down smash yet again. That's They're it. Down zone. Oh. My goodness, a full comeback from Nito there. Full two stocks or so. That was incredible. He really turned on the Jets, and it seemed like he just got like super confident mid-game and was just all over the place. You know, he was had the combo game on point, the movement was crisp, he just came alive. Mm -hmm. And you said it, Rage Ken. Rage Ken. When Ken gets the momentum, it is hard to stop it. Oh, he yeah. hits so hard, he has so many conversions, and he makes you pay. This is why I play him. Yeah. <laughs> Going into game three. And you know what? I'm glad one. Nito stuck with the Ken. He highlighted Terry for a hot minute. No, he wasn't switching to Terry. No way. He, he highlighted him. He, he was ready to do it. He lost a little bit of hope. Why? He just won. Okay. What? No, no. He, it was the last game. He, oh, last game. Yeah, it was okay, last okay. game when he lost game one. I'm glad we stuck with it. Yeah. You know, really putting on a showing. He let him go back to Smashville. I guess he's okay with the stage pick. Yeah. I mean, maybe banning FD or something. You never know. Yeah, but all the momentum definitely in favor of Nito right now. See, so can Gak and go ahead and answer back, and he's doing just that. I like that Nito is just kind of playing the game, saying, "I got hit. I got to take the damage. There's nothing else I can do." Oh, that was scary. I, I was actually terrified. Yeah, that was super scary. Because he jumped up and then he tried to do the short yuk, and I thought. The PK Thunder with the tail is going to continuously clip him down into the depths. Yeah. Nito keeping advantage again. pretty well. He's like just keeping him at the ledge. Gak has gone back. He's trying to go for that uh, two frame with the down smash again. <gasps> that spacing was just super, super awkward for Gak. To, he just managed to get there just in time not to get down tilted. I really like how Nito is not even trying to use focus. Understanding yeah. that Ness has so many multi-hit moves that it, it, it's not going to help him whatsoever. Right, that trade didn't help him either. Nito now sitting on his second stock while Gact has 121 on his first. He has not gotten that one time. If he gets that and wins the set with it, that'd be insane. Nito able to go ahead and get that stock. The parry's coming out! Too bad Perry's not, not that good, not yeah, reading I mean, it too much, but yeah, it, you know, it, it looks cool, it looks cool. Gak, he gets the PK fire, and Nito's just drifting out of those so well. Yeah, now, he, I mean, he understands how he should go ahead and DI out of it. I mean, the first game, he was just getting caught with it over and over, it took so much percent. 
Yeah, Gax. so hard to go to catch that side magnet. I mean, there, there was still so much momentum that Gax was moving with when he connected on shield. Oh. Lumbre has a winning record over Nito? <laughs> okay. What? I don't know. This is just a matchup he, he, he's very comfortable in now, apparently. I guess so. Yeah, I mean, it's not looking too hot right now. I mean, this is the same thing we kind of saw in game two. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's like these guys are just trading advantage and disadvantage so much. But the thing is that Gax is just getting so much more off of his exchanges. All right. Can Nito do it one more time, Slug? We'll see. He tried to get the focus going there. Yeah, he's on the roller coaster right now. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta take that ride. You don't get off the ride until the until the car stops. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah, he's finally off of it, but I mean, hey, he tries to jump up, getting told to sit right back down. I like the Hadouken just covering that. He's been doing that quite a bit, making sure that that PK Thunder doesn't hit him. How did that miss? Down smash, it looks like because of the fact that he dash no. attacked, it, it, it didn't put his hurt box all the way into him, I think. Yeah. Oh my right goodness. One. Nito is just like, just barely misspacing things and accidentally, like Gact is like accidentally turning around. These guys are kind of just flubbing a little bit all over the place. There's the auto turnaround, dash attack. Not enough just yet. Nito starting to put together the pieces of a comeback. No. Oh no! Not Tatsunaki! Okay, he's good though. He is good, able to come back and recover for a bit. Kicks the PK fire, telling it to get out of here. There's such a massive hitbox on that roundhouse. But Gact is really just one or two exchanges away from taking the set. Gact right is now. a grab away. <laughs> There's a down smash. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of knockback on that move. Really only kills at the ledge. There it is. Yep. Don't want to do short again to those high percents. You have a possibility, especially with floaties, that they're going to fall out. Yep. All right, but. This is what legends are made of, Slep. Can Nito bring this all the way back yet again? Oh, Can he no, find his inner done. Daigo? He is not getting carried by the PK Thunder tail. Wow. What an amazing edge guard from Gak. The positioning on the PK Thunder to make sure that he was only getting the tail was super, super crisp. What do you got?